Do we have a great dog culture, a dog culture in America? Is it pretty good? Hi, I'm Rich with Off Grid Dogs Training and Behavior, and I'm crazy about you because you love your dog. So I was thinking the other day about uh, when I lived in Germany about 30 years ago, and um, I was out in public as usual with my dog, and, um, you know, lots of people trying to pet him, asking me if they can pet him. And I was thinking about that um, as compared to when I lived in Germany, um, where they have a very different dog culture. I think if you were in Germany and you ask a German on the street, just some random stranger, if you could pet his dog, I think you'd get cursed out quite viciously, <laughs> quite enthusiastically. <laughs> um, because and Germans are, you know, generally pretty polite, but uh, they're serious when it comes to their dogs. Um, because you would be looked at like a fool. You, they would consider you to be a total fool for even asking that question. Can I pet your dog? A total stranger. Um, because they understand dogs and they understand the dog-human relationship. So when I lived in Germany around 1990 or so, it was right after the wall came down, um, I noticed uh, some things I learned actually quite a bit about dogs, but I noticed that uh, you could go into the average restaurant in Germany and there'd be four or five dogs uh, underneath the table on the floor with their owners uh, as they ate in the restaurant. And this is inside the restaurant, not out on the patio. And they took their dogs everywhere with them. And they're, they're even allowed inside restaurants, not a um, special, you know, service dog or something, just any dog. But they took them everywhere. And if I was in a big city, there'd be dogs walking past each other all the time, dogs sitting on uh, patios on the sidewalk, dogs inside the restaurants. And there was never any issues. There was no um, reactivity. The dogs weren't barking at each other, lunging. Um, and nobody was trying to pet them. Nobody was asking, can I pet your dog, total stranger, who I've never met before. Um, the reason that's a no-no, and, and believe me, 99% of Americans don't know this and don't get this, um, is because if you allow a total stranger to walk up and pet your dog, you've just changed your relationship with your dog, and not for the better. Um, you're basically losing all trust and respect from your dog. Uh, at that point on, he, he has to fend for himself in his mind. He can't count on you. So um, that's how you get these reactive dogs because it won't bother the, the more confident dogs, but there are not many of those. So the average dog is going to be like, oh, shit, everybody that, you know, walks by might be trying to pet me or talk to me or stare at me. So dogs aren't stupid, you know, when they hear that high-pitched voice, when they see that stranger coming toward them, and, and, which is a predatory manner. And I've made videos about this, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about why you don't do it. But it's just interesting that it doesn't happen in Germany. And, um, yeah, I mean, Germans are pretty famous for dogs, you know, because they, they invented Schutzen, and they have all these famous dog breeds, you know, the German Shepherd and the... Um, Doberman Pinscher and the Rottweiler and the D Dotsons and all, all the different dogs. But um, they really do have a different culture and they take it seriously and they're informed and seem to be more educated. Now, in America, we spend more money on dogs than anybody does. And I'm sure we love our dogs, but we're misled by the pet industrial complex. And I've made videos about that, so I'm not going to go into that right now. But you know, everybody's lying to you. They're telling you, they're selling you something. They're making 70 billion a year in the United States off of dogs. And it, and it causes dogs to suffer and die. I mean, after all, our dogs are getting less and less healthy. They don't live as long as they did uh, 10 years ago or much less 20 years ago. They're poorly behaved. The dog training business is booming. Um, there's more dog trainers than there are, you know, 7-Elevens. And, um, the, um, every year we keep killing millions of dogs. You know, we're just, the shelters are full. Every time you drop off your dog at a shelter, you've just murdered the next dog in line because they, they're full, so they have to kill the dog that's been there the longest to make room for yours if you drop yours off. And this has been going on for decades. I've been watching it my whole life. So it's not getting any better. And 
I think it's our culture, our dog culture, because I go out in public every day with my dog and I have, you know, I understand I have a very attractive dog. He's 140 pounds. He's a big, white, fluffy, great Pyrenees and he's sweet and he's beautiful and everybody wants to meet him and, and pet him. And I appreciate that. But, you know, um, anyone who knows anything about dogs would never, ever ask a stranger, can I pet your dog? I would never even think of doing that. I don't even want to do that. I love dogs. I don't want to pet somebody else's dog because I know it's not good for the dog. And, um, you know, it's just amazing that not only do most Americans think that's okay, they're offended if you tell them it's not, or if you try to educate them. It's like, you know, they guard their ignorance with um, all their might. <laughs> they don't want to learn anything, you know. <laughs> and um, they, they think you're a jerk, you know. They're the ones that are being an asshole, but they, they think you're a jerk because, um, you know, you want to keep your hard-won uh, thousands of hours work for a great relationship with your dog by not letting total strangers do an unnatural meeting. Dogs are social animals, people, but they're pack animals. They're social with their pack. They're social with people they know, not with total strangers, you know. Take it back to the wolf pack, you know. What happens in the wild if a wolf meets a strange pack? He's dead. They kill him, okay? <laughs> he doesn't go play with a pack of wolves he doesn't know. So, you know, um, and I made videos about that, so I'm not going to go into that. I just want to talk about the, the dog culture. You know, it's interesting that a lot of people want to use Europe and Scandinavian countries as examples for their politics or something um, when it's convenient. But, it's, of course, it's not true because, you know, they're not socialists. They tried it decades ago and it destroyed their economy, so they backed off immediately from socialism. But what they never bring up as they walk around with their neutered dog is that these same countries that they like to tout when it's convenient, they don't allow neutering. It's illegal or at least strongly frowned upon in most European and Scandinavian countries. It's completely illegal in Norway. It's almost completely illegal in you know other countries like Germany's um, very much against it. They don't neuter their dogs. And that's why their dogs are healthier. And, uh, you know, they also understand that it's not going to make them better behaved. They're better behaved in Germany with their balls because the Germans know how to live with a dog. You know what I mean? And they're not being lied to. I don't just blame the, the American people. It's the pet industrial complex that's misleading you by selling convenience and keeping you ignorant so they can make 70 billion a dollar, 70 billion a year off your dog's misery, illness, bad behavior, and eventually death. So yeah, we have a different dog culture here. I can't take my dog out in public. People don't understand, I'm sitting there trying to have lunch and in 45 minutes, I will get interrupted 20 times by people, you know, not just trying to pet my dog, but talking to them. Don't talk to my dog, okay? You're, you're disturbing him. Like he's sitting there. He's not bothering you. He's calm. He's well-behaved. He's sitting next to me. He could care less about you. He's not interested in you. He goes out in public every day. He's seen a million people walk by, literally. Tens and tens of thousands of people he's seen walk by. He could care less. But when you start doing the high-pitched voice, Oh, hi, he's a cutie. Oh, can I pet your dog? He knows what that means. He's not stupid. He knows you're talking about him. When you're staring at him, coming directly at him, reaching out, looming over, doing everything possible wrong, and you're getting him stimulated. You think excitement is good because you're ignorant, okay? Excitement is terrible for dogs. You know, you can have excitement in the right situation. It's not when you're meeting a stranger. Thank you very much. So, you know, 99% of you do not know that the main thing you need with a dog is calm. You teach your dog to be calm. That's what you do. And you don't ever meet a dog that you don't know with excitement. But that's all you guys do. You want to, you know, so my dog jumps up. He, he was comfortable. He was relaxed. But this is the 20th time we've been interrupted in a half an hour. He jumps up off the floor, you know, all 140 pounds of him. So that's not good for his joints. And now he's wiggling because he's stressed. He's not happy. You didn't make my dog happy. You stressed him. He's stimulated. He's excited. These are all bad things. 
He was perfectly happy and calm until you showed up and started talking to a dog you don't know. You don't even know how rude that is because you're so ignorant, okay? And it's the American dog culture. Most most of us are, okay? Like 90, don't feel bad, 99%. And most dog owners will allow strangers to, that's why you're, you're all trained, it's okay, because most dog owners don't know any better and they wonder why their dog relationship sucks because they allow every stranger and every strange dog and every strange person just to roll up on their dog and you know do whatever they want. So I'm venting, it sounds like, more than educating, but um, I'm trying. So yeah, Germany has a much different dog culture, or at least they did 30 years ago. I haven't been there recently. And I learned a lot over there. But our dog culture, as far as I can see, for the most part, sucks.